Speaking of marijuana, let me ask you about my good friend, Joe Rogan. So you had a bit of tension with him. So when he said nice things about RFK Jr., I think, you've, uh, you've said some not so nice things about Joe. And I think that was a bit unfair. And as a fan of Joe, I would love to see you do his podcast because he is legit the greatest conversationalist in the world. So yeah. what's what's the story behind well, the tension? I don't think there was any tension. And uh, I've always liked him, but I don't know him. I mean, I only see him when I walk into the arena with Dana mm -hmm. and I shake his hand. I see him there and... I think he's good at what he does, but I don't know about doing his podcast. I mean, I guess I'd do it, but I haven't been asked, and I'm not asking them, you know? I'm not asking anybody. It sounds like a challenging negotiation situation. No, it's, it's, not, it's not really a negotiation. And he's sort of a liberal guy, I guess, you know, from what I understand. But he likes Kennedy. This was before I found this out, before Kennedy came in with us. He's going to be great. He's doing, Bobby's going to be great. but. I like that he likes Kennedy. I do too. You know, he's a different kind of a guy, but he's got some great things going. And uh, I think he's going to be beyond politics. I think he could be quite influential in taking care of some situations that you probably would agree should be taken care of. The Joe Rogan Post is an example. I would love to get your psychology uh, about behind the tweets and the posts on truth. Uh, are you sometimes being intentionally provocative or are you just speaking your mind? And are there times where you regret some of the truths yeah. you've posted? Yeah, I do. I mean, but not that often, honestly. You know, I do a lot of reposting. The ones you get in trouble with are the reposts because you find down deep they're into some group that uh, you're not supposed to be reposting. You don't even know if those groups are good, bad, or indifferent. But the reposts are the ones that really get you in trouble. When you do your own words, it's sort of easier. But if the reposts go very quickly. And if you're going to check every single little symbol, and uh, I don't know, it's worked out pretty well for me, I tell you. it's uh, Truth is very powerful, truth. And it's my platform, and it's been very powerful, very, very powerful. It goes everywhere. I call it my typewriter, you know, that's actually my typewriter. What are you doing usually when you're composing a truth? Like, are you chilling back on a couch? Couches, beds. Okay. A lot of different things, I mean. Like late at night and just. just I'd like to do some late at night. You know, I don't, I'm not a huge sleeper. I, but whenever I do them, you know, past like three o'clock, mm -hmm. they criticize you the next day. Trump was up, true thing. Okay, Trump was true thing at three o'clock in the morning. And there should be no problem with that. And then when you think about time zones, how do they know that you're like, you know, in a time zone, like an Eastern zone? So, but but every time I do it after like two or three o'clock, it's like, why is he doing that? But it's gotten, um, I mean, you know, the truth has become a very successful uh, platform. And I like doing it. And it goes everywhere. As soon as I do it, it goes everywhere. 